hello everyone welcome back and in this video we are going to uh, allow the service endpoints for the storage account in the previous video we talked about the access restriction uh, through networking uh, it's the second video in the security i could say so if i go to the uh, storage account we are working on 05 now we have 01 it's it's exactly the same storage account it's it's just like I have created the uh, virtual network in a different region, so I have to create this. So uh, this is the storage account GPV2 uh, LRS, and if I go to networking, uh, it is open, right? And if I go to static website, there is one static website hosted. If I try to browse this, if I try to browse this, it should allow me to browse there we go <clears throat> okay now we have seen selected networks by adding the public ip addresses now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the virtual network this one there is one virtual network in the same region and there is why this is grayed out because i already added it so that's how you add it so once the virtual network is added it's not completed yet i could show you uh, if i go to home and click on vm1 this vm1 is a part of the same virtual network that we have allowed in this storage account and uh, this is the public ip address and I'm logged in here. Uh, this is the uh, Azure portal, and this is our static website that we have hosted, right? Now, let me close this one and minimize this one. Go to the networking, and no, oh, this is this is the VM. Let me open a duplicate. Uh, tab so that we can work on the storage account and on the virtual machine if needed. Let me go to uh, zero 01 under networking. Right now we have not added anything. Let me click on selected network and this has already been selected as I showed you. Let me click on save. Now, once this is saved, what we have done, we have allowed only to this virtual network to access this storage account as of now. Okay, so let me try to access the uh, same uh, container or the website URL just to see if it is working because I have not added my IP addresses. So there we go, I do not have the access. If I click here, I refresh it, I do not have the access. Now let me quickly jump to the virtual uh, machine, which is a part of this virtual network, as you can see. If I go to the same 01 storage account and try to browse the containers, I can't. This is what I was talking about because virtual network is a private network. Okay, so we need to give a path so that it could access the public service through a service endpoint. Okay, let me also try to browse uh, <clears throat> static website URL just to show you it shouldn't work there we go it is not working now as i was saying the networking has included the virtual network but we need to add a endpoint in the virtual network so that there would be a complete tunnel there would be a complete a route which would be from the Azure backbone network instead of going to the internet. So what it, it will do, it will allow the traffic coming from the virtual network and it will not allow any other traffic, okay? 
So just to show you, let me minimize this uh, RDP, get into the virtual machine, or I need to get into the virtual network so that I could dive to the service endpoint. I have to enable the service endpoint and this will help me service or pass the traffic or route to the Azure Backbone network and finally to the storage account, which is only receiving traffic from the virtual network, which is provided there. So let me select Microsoft Storage. Uh, we'll talk about the policies later, but in this video, we are only trying to understand the service endpoint. I have selected the subnet, which is enabled for the service endpoint. Now, as soon as this is done, uh, nothing happens except the routing and this routing decide that storage account will accept the traffic only from this virtual network and nowhere else. So I can, I, if I refresh it, I can still not able to browse this because my IP is not added. I'm still not able to browse the URL because my IP is not added. But this VM, which is a part of a virtual network, should be able to browse now. It wasn't before, but now we have added the service endpoint. So let me try to browse this. There we go. Get back to the storage account. Let me try to hit the containers and I should be able to see the content. There we go. If I try to do this with the help of uh, Storage Explorer, which is in build now, in preview, it's been a while, it's in preview. Uh, if I click on blob containers, click on demo, there we go. I still have the access. So that's how the service endpoint work and that's how we enable it. it. We enable it on the virtual network subnet and allow that subnet or virtual network from the storage account networking to have the complete path. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.